Phase 1. Separation. Stirring interest and desire. Your victims live in their own worlds, their minds occupied with anxieties and daily concerns. Your goal in this initial phase is to slowly separate them from that closed world and fill their minds with thoughts of you. Once you have decided whom to seduce, your first task is to get your victim's attention to stir interest in you. For those who might be more resistant or difficult, you should try a slower, more insidious approach, first winning their friendship. For those who are bored and less difficult to reach, a more dramatic approach will work, either fascinating them with a mysterious presence or seeming to be someone who is coveted and fought over by others. Once the victim is properly intrigued, you need to transform their interest into something stronger. Desire. Desire is generally preceded by feelings of emptiness, of something missing inside that needs fulfillment. You must deliberately instill such feelings. Make your victims aware of the adventure and romance that are lacking in their lives. If they see you as the one to fill their emptiness, interest will blossom into desire. The desire should be stoked by subtly planting ideas in their minds, hints of the seductive pleasures that await them. Mirroring your victim's values, indulging them in their wants and moods, will charm and delight them. Without realizing how it has happened, more and more of their thoughts now revolve around you. The time has come for something stronger. Lure them with an irresistible pleasure or adventure, and they will follow your lead.